Okay, following on from our last tutorial, we know that if we put in an answer and we get it right, then we get the answer right. But what we need is a different question to appear if we get it right. Um, you know, because this is what games are about. So that's what this this is what this uh, tutorial is about. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is we need to set up a thing called a function. Um, now functions are instructions that can be called at any time. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it a new question. Um, so new question equals function. Uh, we're going to use the, inf the instructions that we gave in our previous one. Um, so we're going to set up A, we're going to set up B and we're going to get the real answer. Uh, we're then going to close that and we're going to, after that's been set up in our actions layer, um, we're going to call it, we're going to go new um, question new question um, and we're going to call it we need to call the formula a global variable because we're going to need to be able to call it from our button if we didn't call it a global variable it wouldn't know it existed it'll only know about the functions that are in the action layer for the button so we call, we call it a global so it can get called um, so when we run it we can get our real answer again um, what we need to do now is look at the button, go to the button, look at the actions layer. If the button is, if the answer is correct, then we can call that function from here. We can go new question. Oh, got to make sure you spell it correctly. New question. Um, if it's not correct, then we won't be able to get a new question. So if we do this, if we get the question right, we should get um, a new a new question, which is not working. Why? Oh, again, good point to make sure that you spell it correctly, otherwise it won't work. So 77 is a 49. If we get it right, we should get a new question. So the re next answer is 2. Okay. Um, as you can see, we get a new question, but our answer remains the same in here. So let's reset that. So when we get a new question, if we go back to this uh, function here, uh, the actions layer at the top, when after we uh, traced it, we can set the new um, player answer. So we go tx uh, underscore root dot uh, txt player answer uh, dot text equals two blank uh, uh, double quote mark blank double quote mark. So when we pr um, do it, so 28, get it right, it should reset it back to how it was. If we don't get it right, it will just say we're incorrect and we'll have to do it again until we do get it right. 